I really do appreciate it. Now, there's a realistic chance that in the last few weeks you may have seen the press coverage or media coverage about the ultra low emission zones be, uh, coming up in various parts of the country, Sheffield, London and other such places. And I'm speaking here as a Sheffield based personal trainer media coverage in the Sheffield Press about this and very recently I actually went into Sheffield City Centre first time I've been in the city centre since lockdown and it truly broke my heart I can remember a bustling city centre now it's been turned into a ghost town it was practically deserted uh, on Sunday I spoke to a, a trader at the local market uh, there was a local market going on in my little shop, local shopping centre and there was a um, I spoke to a trader who operates in the city centre, he says trade has gone down enormously since the uh, low emission zones come in, uh, people are not driving in, and secondly every time he's actually got to drive into the city centre he's got to pay £10, now he's either going to have to raise his prices or he's going to go out of business, but if he raises his prices the customers who are already who are still coming to the city centre won't, won't buy. So it's, 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 uh, it's a very, very devastating to, to everything. Now today I'm going to give you three alternatives which are cheaper, healthier and overall much better. I wholly accept there's a big problem with air pollution, but there's going to be, I'm going to give you three much better alternatives, one from Sheffield's past. The first thing's first, the much healthier option. First question I want to ask you, have you ever noticed how the traffic dies down when the school kids are on holiday or when the schools are closed? Basically, the traffic is next to nothing. So wouldn't it be nice to have that all, all year round? Now, I'm not, I don't advocate closing the schools. I can see every schoolboy and school gun in the country saying, yay, no, 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 I'm not talking about that at all. In some parts of the world, particularly in New Zealand, what they've got is for their equivalent of preschool and kindergartens is to have what's known as the walking school bus. Now what that means, it means is you get four adults, let's say you've got a class of 30 children. You've got four adults go to the first kid's house, pick them up. They then walk to the second kid's house, pick them up, and so on and so forth. And they would reverse it on the way back. And if you think of the maths, for a class of 30 kids over an academic school year, that's almost up to 12,000 car journeys saved. Now multiply that up nationwide the number of preschools and kindergartens we've got and you could talk about a huge reduction in traffic now imagine this the kids get healthier they get stronger they get they're walking better community relations are enhanced okay on top on top of that there's less traffic less congestion a lot less pollution what's not to like this is a perfect solution i just can't understand why they don't bring it in it just doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense to me uh, so what I'd like you to do, if you do nothing else, please contact your local councillor and your local MP and ask them to implement the, the walking school bus. The easiest thing to do is just forward them this, this video. That's the easiest thing to do. Now, the second thing is we need to look at uh, the example of Sheffield's past. If you actually speak to, uh, well, I'll speak to my neighbours about this. But it's, well, it's a well-known fact that in, up until the late, until, up until the early 1980s, Sheffield's buses were ridiculously cheap. They were very heavily subsidised. There was a bus on every route near enough, every five to ten minutes, and basically, it was used to cost about at most two or three pence. I, I understand from my neighbours, an all-day ticket was ten pence, and all it used to cost was one uh, a pound a week in your rates. It was ridiculously cheap. But on every single route. There was a bus every five to ten minutes and they were very very heavily subsidized on top of that there was a bus conductor who came on to get you to, uh, to where you pay for it one driver one conductor why are we going to go back to that i don't know imagine this if your bus is a bus is ridiculously cheap you're not going to drive it's as simple as that we need to go back to that system i'm going to talk about funding in a minute because thirdly we need to follow the example of luxembourg the luxembourg government has made all public transport entirely free so buses, trams, trains and, uh, and the like in Luxembourg are completely free. So no one needs, needs to worry about that, about the cost of it. So we need to follow those examples. Those three examples are far better than ultra low emission zones because I can tell you here and now, I can hear people saying to me, well, you're a former, um, former, former tr uh, training GP. Why are you opposing this? The number one cause of ill health is poverty. 
and these ultra low emission zones are going to cause no end of poverty i've told you about one sheffield trader who have either the raises prices or go out of business you multiply that up a lot of people going out of business a lot of people could go become unemployed you're going to cause a load of poverty poverty is the number one cause of ill health i'm giving you three better solutions now about the funding this is where i can't understand this i'm a trader i trade in the currency exchanges the UK government income is at best one trillion pounds a year. Every working day, no less than five trillion pounds is exchanged on the currency exchange. No less. More than enough to solve all the world's problems. Now, I'm not talking about taxing that money. I can't understand why Rishi Sunak doesn't get a couple of traders like me, give them a nice salary and just say, look, I'm going to give you a budget of, let's say, 10 million pounds. And I want you to trade away, make a profit. We'll let you keep 10% of what you of you make. And basically, I want you to whittle away the national debt and basically make a profit for the government. We can we can, we can whittle away the national debt within one or two years. Wouldn't be wouldn't be that difficult to do. I don't, can't understand why it's not done. So there's no need to worry about financing. So what I'd like you to do, if you can, look below. I've actually put a link to. Um, how to find your MP and how to find your local councillor. All I need to do, find out who they are, get their email address and forward them the URL, the link to this video and ask them to take action. We can implement the walking bus school buses, bring back the old system of heavily subsidised Sheffield buses like we used to have, or do what Luxembourg does, make all public transport free. We can kiss goodbye to these ultra low emission zones. Thank you very much for your time. I'll speak to you soon. Stay safe. Bye bye.